Welcome to Outbound Labs by Predictable Revenue, where we share the results of our prospecting experiments, what we learned along the way, and what it means for your team. Hey everybody, I'm Colin. And I'm Navinia. And we are part of Outbound Labs. Today we are talking about LinkedIn again. And this, this is one that I think it's been hotly debated here, Predictable Revenue. Yeah, oh my gosh, every day. I think, uh, I think we need more of a social life if this is what's going on every day. But I would, <laughs> I would definitely agree that this is one of the more contentious um, and every, everybody's sort of done a little like test on their own, but this is the first time we've brought it to Outbound Labs. Yeah. And it's, we haven't gone as deep because we, this is one of those ones that we want to get, uh, we want to get other people's uh, feedback on. We want to hear what you're doing. And uh, we're going to share a little bit at the end so you can uh, test this yourself and yeah. let us know what your, what your results look like. Um, coming into this, I'm going to say, Blank invite versus content connection request. There's only one way to go. It's blank invite. And that's surprising. Hand, I'm actually shocked. Hands Didn't down. Expect that. <laughs> hands down. Um, and and I think the reason being is when you're if, if you're prospecting. This is this is my thought. This is an outbound labs. Mm-hmm. This is just what I've always believed. Um, and as somebody who's been banned from LinkedIn a couple of times for they thought I was a bot. I, w- I was moving so fast. I'm really good with copy paste and a bunch of things. So seven years ago, I got banned two or t- three times in uh, in like a two week period because I'd sent so many connection requests and I'd put content in the connection request and so many people marked it as, as not spam. So the first time they like, there was like an auto, like a automated, like, okay, click here, say you won't do that again. But I still had a ton of invites queued up. And so mm-hmm. it unblocked my account and then a bunch of more people saw the invites that I'd already sent and then that got blocked again. And so I had to call them and then the third time it happened, I had to write them a letter apologizing. So I've been, I've burned myself before doing this. So I'm a big fan of no content in the invite um, because it's less likely to, to identify yourself as this is part of a sales campaign. Yeah. So talk to me about why we, we would even want to test something like this when I'm so clearly right. So it's, it's always a point of contention. It's one of those, you know, everyone knows which way it falls and we'll try some campaigns one and then we'll feel, oh, it's not quite doing as well. So we'll switch back to the other method and back to the other method. And this is exactly where Outbound Labs comes into it. What we're trying to do is really do enough experiments around this across a subset of clients. We're all reaching out to different industries, different targets to see what the patterns are. Um, So as with all of them, we set up um, or we start to set up a few experiments. So, so far we've launched three experiments to test this area. Um, again, with each of them, we've added um, a control. So we have one with no content in the invite. Um, and then we've sent them a follow up message on Safe Connected. And then on the other side, we sent them a message in, with the connection request. But they've been for the same client, the same list of people we're targeting. So those personas are the same, the same kind of people um, to check out what the difference is. Cool. We don't even need to go to results. I'm just going to say sending a blank invite one. Episode over. Done. See ya. <laughs> but if it were that straightforward. Yeah. So as I said, we were we started testing this for a couple of experiments. Again, scientific method, you know what? We want to get as many data points as we can. Um, but with the first couple we've looked at, we've seen some really interesting results and actually really surprising. So for one of these experiments, the one that had um, no content in it, that led to a 50% higher connection rate than an invite with content. So that's my, I was right there. Yeah. So that's, and I hadn't seen this before we recorded exactly what Colin was saying, 50% higher. So that's like, that's huge. Then we looked at one of the other clients that was running this experiment and found that the exact opposite was true. So for that client, the one with content in the invite had a 48% higher connection rate. Well, they obviously screwed something up. <laughs> so this is really interesting. It's probably, it was one of yours, wasn't it? Gosh. You totally botched. <laughs> it was a good experiment. Isn't it? <laughs> All right, come on, tell me. It was, so obviously that's super interesting because we have almost exactly the opposite results in two of the experiments we've run so far. Um, but I think also what's really crucial to point out at this stage is without band labs, We're adopting a scientific method as much as we can, but at the end of the day, we're dealing with humans. And notoriously, social sciences are like the natural sciences. 
our results aren't always going to be the same if we do use the same method. Um, so this is where we'd really like you guys to get involved. Um, test it out yourself. See what kind of results do you find. Cool. What was the analogy you made about uh, the hard sciences versus soft sciences? About the yeah, it's yeah. hard hard science and soft science. When you're dealing with people, you're not. Oh, potassium and water. And what does it do? It always fizzes. Oh, you made a cool little. There you go. Um, yeah. So this is one of those areas where we're going to need your help. Uh, we're going to continue to run this one because um, the, the results are just all over the place. Um, I think Lavinia just, she was cheating on the second one and uh, she was just, just didn't want to admit that I was just oh so right. Um, but in the comments, hit us up, let us know what you think. As always, Outbound Labs, we're on YouTube. This, that's how you're watching us. Um, or maybe you're on LinkedIn because we posted it there. Um, but if you're on YouTube, hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell notification icon so that we annoy you when you're inbox so that you get to see when we launch the next one. Um, can you give us an idea of what we're looking at next? Sure thing. So again, LinkedIn, great results, but is it taking you more time to book those meetings than it would do over email? We've started testing out how we can reduce that time to book a meeting and still keep the same conversion rate. Fantastic. Nice. Cool. Thanks. See you all next time. Bye for now.